Long ago, two races ruled over Earth, humans and monsters. Is that Chris Deltarune? Anyway guys, welcome to Undertale. It's about fucking time that I played this. It's been out for so long. Um, I've always, I always wanted to do a series on it, but I never got round to it. I never actually, I know the story, I know a voice, obviously, I know the story of the game really well, and I know the story of Deltarune really well too, um, but I've never actually played, I've never played the Deltarune games, and I've never actually played this past the point where you meet Sans, so I figured, now that I have a, uh, a, a, a channel where I can do it, that maybe people might watch, um, what the hell, let's go for it. These are going to be relatively uncut videos, I think. Longer as well. So if you're not into that, then turn away now. But, um... I'm going to have fun doing this because I, I love doing voices for characters in games like this where the games don't provide the voices for the characters. You get to create the voices and give life to the characters. Um... And I absolutely, I absolutely love doing that. Now it's um, time to actually go and start the game up. Um, I didn't have time to adjust the recording resolution before the intro started, so uh, let's go into the game now. All right, welcome to the menu screen. Um, I have not played this game on this computer before, so this is basically like playing it from scratch. Okay. Begin game. Oh, now I know the the funny names that you can give characters. I but I I wonder what would happen if I named it Chris from Deltarune because of course Toby Fox, the who I believe genuinely the best Gavette Deck game developer of our time. Um he um started work on Deltarune before he started work on Undertale. So I reckon if there's an e is there an easter egg to Chris or Deltarune if I name the character this? Right. No, there, there, there's no easter egg. Oh, that's that's a shame. <laughs> hey! Hey, Frisk! I know the character's names. I know I know the story. I've already explained. I know the story. I know everything about the game. But what I haven't actually done is play it. So here we go. Oh, here's... Here's Flowey. I'm going to really annoy Nate with this because Nate um, is really proud of his Flowey voice. But mine is better, especially when you pitch it up. Bowie! I'm Bowie! Bowie the Flower! Hmm! You're new to the underground, aren't ya? Golly! You must be so confused! Come on, I can teach you how things work around here! I guess little old me will have to do! Ready? Here we go! Oh god. <laughs> you little shit. See that, huh? Bowie's your soul! The very culmination of your being! Your soul starts off weak, but you can grow it if. Uh, well, I need my glasses. <laughs> but you can grow strong if you gain a lot of LV. I need my fucking glasses. Where are they? Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I'm dyslexic and I haven't got glasses with me. <laughs> What's LV stand for? Why, love, of course! A mouse in the corner. You want some love, don't you? Don't worry, I'll share some with you. Down here, love is shared through little white friendliness pellets. Are you ready? Miller, get as many as you can. Uh-oh. You idiot! In this world, it's kill or be killed! Why would anyone pass up an opportunity like this? <laughs> oh my god. I hey, remember this bit though. <laughs> Get fucked, flower. <laughs> what a terrible creature! Torturing such a poor, innocent youth! Ah, do not be afraid, my child. I am Toriel, caretaker of the ruins. I pass through this place every day to see if anyone has fallen down. 
You are the first human to come here in a long time. Come, I will guide you through the catacombs. My voice is a bit sore from doing flowery. <laughs> this way. Hey, Toriel. And this, this track, that track, Fallen Down, that's one of my favourite songs in the soundtrack. Of course, I know the soundtrack. I've got MIDI files of them all, so I can do remixes. I've done, I'm, I'm currently trying to convert the whole Undertale soundtrack to the Super Mario 64 sound font. It's going relatively well. I'm at, um, Spear of Justice at the moment. That's a tricky one, but, uh, yeah, in the ruins. Welcome to your new home, innocent one. Allow me to educate you in the operation of the ruins. Ooh. The ruins are full of puzzles. Ancient fusions between diversions and door keys. One must solve them to move from room to room. Please adjust yourself to the sight of them. Okay. Adjusting myself to the sight of this puzzle. Sight adjustments complete. Moving on. To make progress here, you will need to trigger several switches. Do not worry, I have labelled the ones you need to flip. Isn't there supposed to be music playing right now? I swear the Ruins theme is supposed to be playing right now. I'll, 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 I'll try and rectify the issue and, and come back to you. Okay! Ruins theme is now playing. Thank gosh. I thought, I thought it was, I thought it was broken for a second. I just restarted the game and everything was fine. I love this song. The Ruins theme is great. Um, I think I've said that already, but just in case. To make progress here, you will need to trigger several switches. Do not worry, I have labelled the ones that you need to flip. Okay. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Very, very well labelled, Toriel. Thank you very much. Splendid. <clears throat> I'm proud of you, little one. Let us move to the next room. As a human living in the underground, monsters may attack you. You will need to be prepared for this situation. However, worry not. The process is simple. When you encounter a monster, you will enter a fight. While you are in a fight, strike up a friendly conversation. Though for time, I will come to resolve the conflict. Practice talking to the dummy. Okay. Hello? You encountered the dummy. So I did. Okay, dummy, what do I do? Check. Dummy. Tag zero, defense zero. Cotton heart and a button eye. You are the apple of my eye. Dummies can't talk. I mean, it looks like it's going to fall over. Oh no. <laughs> talk. Here we go. You talk to the dummy. It doesn't seem much of a conversation. Thuriel seems happy with you. Nice. With zero XP and zero gold. Nice. Ah, oh, very good. You are very good. There is another puzzle in this room. I wonder if you can solve it. If I know Toby Fox, I know that you've got to check every inch of the room. Every last inch. You've got to check it. I- I don't think there's anything here, though. I got- I'm gonna... Yeah, there's nothing in here! <laughs> Although the floor has a bit of a weird pattern to it. It just... Okay. Memorize the floor, maybe that's got something to do with it. Ah! Ah, frog it! Frog it attacks you. Compliment! Pocket didn't understand what you said, but was flattered anyway. Aw. <laughs> oh, mean Doriel. <laughs> Frog it. You had zero EXP and zero gold. Nice. What does this say? The western room is the eastern room's blueprint. Uh, western room would be this one. So this is the blueprint of the eastern room. What is the eastern room? Let's go have a look. Oh, yeah, the spike trap. Oh! I've only just made the connection. Is this the path? 
Is this the path that you've got to take through the spikes? I've never noticed that before. If it is, that's very clever. I know that you don't actually get to to do this puzzle. Toriel does it for you. But let's see if she walks the same path as the floor in the other room. Here, take my hand for a moment. So I forgot to read the other box of dialogue. I think that's exactly what it is. It is. I was bloody right. Yes. Puzzles seem a little too dangerous for now. What are you talking about? I solved it. I solved it before you even attempted it. What the fuck are you talking about? You have done excellently thus far, my child. However, I have a difficult request to ask of you. I would like you to walk to the end of the room by yourself. Forgive me for this. Oh no, it's the Undertale track Unnecessary Tension. Stay on the path. I've read The Hobbit. Stay on the path. I want to climb the vine smoke. <laughs> no, you can't do that. I want to climb these vines now. Frisk! The personification of ADHD. Do you know what I don't get about this is the fact that from... From, from us, we are seeing her stood behind the pillar, but from Frisk's perspective, she would have just been standing beside it. That doesn't make any sense. Anyway. Greetings, my child. Do not worry, I did not leave you. I was merely behind this pillar the whole time. Yes, and Frisk would have been able to see that. Thank you for trusting me. However, there was an important reason for this exercise. To test your independence. I must attend to some business, and you must stay alone for a while. Please remain here. It's dangerous to explore by yourself. <laughs> like, that's never gonna happen! <laughs> I have an idea. I will give you a cell phone. If you have a need for anything, just call. Be good, alright? I will, Toriel. Don't worry. I will definitely stay in this room. <laughs> Hello, this is Toriel. You have not left the room, have you? No. There are a few puzzles ahead that I have yet to explain. It would be dangerous to try to solve them yourself. Be good, alright? Okay. Frog it! Hello! Ribbit! Ribbit! Excuse me, human. I have some advice for you that about battling monsters. If you act a certain way or fight until you almost defeat them, they may not want to battle you anymore. If a monster does not want to fight you, please, use some mercy, human. Ribbit. I will. Ah, oh, monster candy. So take one. Thank you, monster candy. Yes, I will. Proceed to open the menu. Item, monster candy, uh, info. Monster candy, heals 10 HP. Has a distinct non-licorice flavor. Great, I fucking hate licorice. Playfully crinkling through the leaves fills you with determination. HP fully restored. Yay! Absolutely puckers. Ah! Uh, Whimson. Okay, Whimson is one of those ones that, like, is completely pathetic and you can spare it straight off the bat. <laughs> there we go. Ah! Oh, I forgot about these. We have to go straight up there and then not get stuck through the falling bits again. Hello, this is Toriel. For no reason in particular, which do you prefer? Cinnamon or butterscotch? Um, well, I've got some cinnamon coffee right here, so I'm gonna have to say cinnamon. Oh, I see. Thank you very much. Oh, she's super light. Hello, this is Toriel. You do not dislike butterscotch, do you? I know what your preference is, but... Would you turn up your nose if you found it on your plate? Absolutely not. Right, right, I understand. Thank you for being patient, by the way. No worries, Toriel. Absolutely no worries. Ah! Hello. Ah, it's Whimsom. Don't worry. It's just Whimsom. Perfect. 
sign. Three out of four grey rocks recommend you push them. Alright, well that's one grey rock. Let's go find the other three. I know this bit. You... I can't for the life of me remember what the pattern is. It's been... Three years now since I last played this game, and even then I've never played past Snowden, so... Oh, well, there we go. Okay, I should be able to memorize it, so down all the way, okay, all the way there, up, a bit, there, all the way down, all the way across, up a bit, gotcha. Ah! See you later, Winsome. Please don't step on the leaves. I am a first world anarchist! Let's, uh, okay, so it's all the way down. Bit, up, up. Pair of froggets, hop towards you, okay. Finally we get to do some actual battling. <laughs> uh, compliment. Froggit didn't understand what you said, but was flattered anyway. Flush his deeply. Meow! Ribbit. Um, I sh I really should get a USB controller. I'm using a keyboard for this, and I know how difficult it is. You've only got like four directions with a keyboard. You are intimidated by Froggit's raw strength. Only kidding. Okay. I can spell one of them. Hop, hop. Uh, not the flies! Uh. Froggit didn't understand what you said, but it was flattered anyway. I've never been great at battles in this game, though. Bear. Zero EXP and four gold. Uh, what was it from here? I think it was all the way across. Yes, there we go. Let's do. Okay, so here's the other three rocks. Ah, Moth Mall and Moth Mall blocked the way. Oh, okay, well I can spare them straight off the bat. Uh, what's the button to go back? Is it X? Yes, it is. There we go. The ruins monsters are just so easy. Right, okay, so three out of four recommend I push them. I pushed three out of four of them. Let's see what this one does. Whoa there, partner! Who said you could push me around? Hmm? So you're asking me to move over? Okay, just for you, pumpkin. That's not far enough, mate. <laughs> hmm? You want me to move some more? Alrighty, how's this? No. No, that's, that's worse. Hmm? That was the wrong direction? Okay, I think I got it. You got it, that's perfect. Oh. That wasn't very helpful. Hmm? You wanted me to stay there? You're giving me a real workout. Thank you very much, Mr. Rock. <laughs> it's little details like that in Toby Fox's games that I absolutely love. Like, I've played the Earthbound Halloween hack, it's absolutely amazing. Toby Fox is just such a great developer, but I think, I feel like his greatest attribute is his musical ability. Like, I, people who know me will say I'm a half-decent composer, but I've got nothing on Toby Fox. Nobody does. Uh, something, 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 it fills you with determination. I'm going to save again just so I can read that. Knowing the mouse might one day leave its hole and get the cheese, it fills you with determination. There we go, quality let's play. This cheese has been here quite a long time. It's stuck to the table. Of course it is. Hey, squeak! Try to do fast paced squeaks. Napsabuk! I remember the name. <laughs> I know there's a ghost with crippling depression, but I couldn't remember his name. It's Napsabuk then. Are they gone yet? This ghost keeps saying Z out loud repeatedly, pretending to sleep. Move it with force? No, I'm gonna be nice to Naps the Book. Although, that means I can't get past. Okay, yep, yep, yep. Oh, I fucking love this song.
<laughs> Ghost fight the um song called Dummy and Spider Dance. Those are my three. Those are like the the best like battle themes that I like. That and hopes and dreams. <laughs> Here comes Napstablook! Napstablook! Let's cheer! I think, is that how you do it? I can't remember what you're supposed to do. Napstablook gave you a patience. You gave Napstablook a patient smile. Okay. Yeah. No, don't cry! Don't cry, please! Ah! Napstablook looks just a little better. Okay, so cheering probably worked. I don't want to threaten him and I don't want to flirt because. I'm playing as a child. Cheer. You told Nancy Book a little joke. <laughs> really not feeling up to it right now, sorry! <laughs> I fucking love this game, man! Cheering seems to have improved Nancy Book's mood again. Nice. Let's cheer. Nancy wants to show you something. Let me try. Whoa! I call it Dapper Bluck. Nice. Do you like it? I love it. It's so cool. A little ghost with a top hat. That is so cute. Naps look eagerly awaits your response. Oh, I still can't understand that. Let's do the cheer one. Uchi. I usually come to the ruins because there's nobody around. But today I met somebody nice. Oh, I'm rambling again. I'll get out of your way. Oh, come back, Napsablook! <laughs> I love Napsablook. One of my favorite characters. Ooh, spider sail! Spider bake sail. I remember this. I remember that you're supposed to get something. How much money do I have? Yes! Oh, no, I don't. I. Oh, it's eight. I read HP instead of G. I only have four gold. I don't have enough for a spider donut or anything. What's the big one? Is that more expensive? Yes, that is much more expensive. Sorry, I can't afford that. Did you miss it? Spider bake sale down and to the right. Uh, I think you'll find it's up your ass and to the left. Come, if you may buy spiders, four spiders, all spiders. That sounds disgusting. I'm glad I didn't. I, I'm glad I didn't have enough money to buy that. Ooh, Toriel. Hello. I just realized that it has been a while since I have cleaned up. I was not expecting to have company so soon. There are probably a lot of things lying around here and there. You can pick them up, but do not carry more than you need. Someday you might see something you really like. You won't want to leave room in your pockets for that. Thank you for the advice, Toriel. I'll bear that in mind. Where are we going now? There is just one switch. Oh, and I've got a guess. Okay, um, I'll do this one then. Oh, Nabs the books over there. Okay, can I go talk to Nabs the again? What's this? Pineapple? No, it's a carrot. Actually, it's a Vegetoid! Vegetoid came out of the earth! Vegetoid! Uh, I don't know what I'm supposed to do here! <laughs> uh, let's check him! Uh, Vegetoid! Attack 6, defense 6! Serving size, 1 monster, not monster by the US, uh, USDA! Uh, part of a complete breakfast! Okay, ah! Ah! Carrots! 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 Okay, Vegetoid cackles softly, um... Dinner! Pad your stomach. Vegetoid offers a healthy meal. Eat your greens! The green ones! I gotta get the green ones! Green ones are good! Green ones are good! Vegetoid gave a mysterious smile. Nice. Oh, I can spare you now. Perfect. Four gold. Neat. Can I go talk to- Ah! I know what to do with you now. Dinner. Wait, did it- I had 14 HP. Did it heal me? CORN! Give me the corn! Oh, no. I was trying to stay at the bottom because it's easier to avoid the attacks there. Eat your greens! 
Uh, onion! Yes! Ah, no, we'll go her again. Spare, perfect. Nap's book was in this one. Hey, bookster! I fell down a hole, now I can't get up. Go on without me. Wait, ghosts can fly, can't they? Oh well. Oh, no, Nap's a book. Uh, oh, I wasn't even looking at where the switch was. Is it this one? Yes, it was this one. There's another Vegetoid down there. I'ma go... I know Toby Fo how Toby Fox makes games. I'm gonna check check out the rest of it. My gosh, crawl up close. I can spare the, the mold small straight away. What? That's an attack? My gosh doesn't have a care in the world. Okay, I can spare my gosh for now. Okay. <laughs> what? What is this game, man? Okay. Down here. What is this? Ah, what is that? You found a faded ribbon. Faded ribbon. Items. What is faded ribbon? Info. Faded ribbon. Armor defense three. If you're cuter, monsters won't hit you as hard. Hell yes! I'm going to wear that. You equip the ribbon. Do, 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 do. Uh, item. Do I have anything on me? Oh no, there's a bandage. I had that. Okay, I guess that was on. Uh, info. Bandage. Heals 10 HP. It has already been used several times. Okay, that's disgusting. Let's let's just carry on. I've already flipped the switch. Ah. Oh, it's these two again. All right. La la la. Just be yourself. <laughs> She's doing the dance! <laughs> That's cool! Two gold. Oh, I can afford spider bake sale now! Ah! I'm being attacked. Looks drew near. Oh, sh no, that fight menu. Lick. Uh, don't pick on, because that, pick that, that would be mean. Don't pick on is nice. Finally, someone gets it! Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Ooh, bubbles. Neat. Let's -a go. Uh, back to Spider Bake Sale. Ah. Uh. Oh, it's you again. Looks you don't pick on. Finally, someone gets it. Uh. Uh. Okay. Five gold. Neat. How much gold do I have? 26, I can afford the big, I can afford the big ticket one. Spider, scroll down, I gave you a jug. What is it? Spider Cider! Nice. Info, Spider Cider, heals 24 HP, made with whole spiders, not just the juice. Oh, I, I don't want to use that item. The fire door is not an exit, it simply marks a rotation in perspective. Hey? Oh! If you can read this, press the blue switch. Where was the blue one? Uh, oh, it's these guys. Da 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 <laughs> My god. <laughs> I love his attack, it's just his little boogie he does. Which was the blue one? Okay, that one. It's the switch, press it. Yes! You hear a clicking sound. I do indeed. Uh, oh, and another one. If you can read this, press the red switch. Well, I don't need to go back to see which one that is. Uh, Vegetoid came out of the earth, and my gasp is just. Uh, whoopsie. I don't need to do anything for my gasp. Dinner, you pat your stomach. Uh, Vegetoid offers you a healthy meal. I'm in unison now, and. Eat your greens! Cha cha cha! Can I just spare you after that? Yep. <laughs> Six gold! Nice, I need to press the red switch. I should probably heal as well. Uh, how much health do I have? Ten, I want half. The bandage heals ten, actually. Ew. Uh, wait, have I still got the ribbon? Does the ribbon just disappear now? Oh no! 
does this say? If you can read this, press the green switch. Which is the only one I haven't pressed yet, and it's there. Press it? Yes. You hear a clicking sound. Of course I do. Uh, what's now? Vegetoid came out of the earth, and my ghost is having the time of his life. Dinner. Vegetoid offers a healthy meal. Eat your greens. Filthy single. No. 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 I missed the carrot. <laughs> I gotta do it again. Patch your stomach. Vegetoid offers a healthy meal. Eat the swarm. Yes. Okay, get rid of Vegetoid. La la la. Just be yourself. And when my gossip is alone, his attacks become easy. Nice! I'm getting good at this. I haven't played for so long, I've completely forgotten how to do it. What is this way? Frog it! Ribbit, ribbit. Just between you and me! I saw Toriel come out of here just a little while ago. She was carrying some groceries. I didn't ask what they were for. We're all too intimidated to talk to her. Ribbit. Okay. Why? She seems so nice. Oh. She I Did I just say she seems so nice because I saw this knife here? <laughs> no, she seems so nice. What is this? You found the toy knife. Well, I'm not gonna need that because I'm doing the pacifist run. Go away. I don't need that. Oh no! I forgot! I forgot some weapons, if you have them equipped, give you bonus things like additional health recovery or speed or something. So I should always keep an eye out, actually, for, for something that might boost my stats a little bit. But I won't be doing any fighting. Oh dear, that took longer than I thought it would. Calling me, I'm right here. How did you get here, my child? Are you hurt? There, there. I will heal you. I should not have left you alone for so long. It was irresponsible to try to take to... It was irresponsible to try to surprise you like this. Uh, well, I suppose I cannot hide it any longer. Come, small one. Save point! Seeing such a cute, tidy house in the ruins gives you determination. Thank you very much. Ruins. Home. Oh my god, it's this song! Oh, I love this one. I love this one so much. Ah, uh, I love that. Do you smell that? Surprise! It is a butterscotch cinnamon pie. I thought we might celebrate your arrival. I want you to have a nice time living here. Though I will hold off on snail pie for tonight. Snail pie? Are you French? <laughs> Here, I have another surprise for you. Oh, this is a lovely little This is like the house in a Wes Anderson movie. This is it. A room of your own. I hope you like it. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> is something burning? Um, make yourself at home. <laughs> oh. This game is so like it playing this game will will always lift your mood. It's so lovely. I can tell I never noticed that before, I can turn the lights off. Oh a box of kids' shoes in a dis uh disparity of sizes. An empty photo frame. It seems really dusty. It's really dusty. Where did... There is no seams in that sentence. I need glasses. Uh, anything in the wardrobe? Oh, I hopped into bed. Oh. The pie! You found a slice of butterscotch cinnamon pie. Look at these cool toys. They don't all interest you. Oh no, they don't interest you at all. Okay. <laughs> oh dear. That's because they're all knives. Yeah, I know what you were like, Tara. <laughs> Can I... Hey! <laughs> okay, we'll keep the music box playing in here, and then have the regular one out here. 
You have seen this type of plant before, but do not know its name. It is... They look actually like, um... Those reeds that have... That you like... The brown... With the brown ends, like cattails, I think they're called. Um... And then if you, like, squeeze at the bottom and pull, like, push upwards, they go, like, like a dandelion, but a thousand times the amount of spores. Anyway, that is like a sunflower or something. Oh! Wait, we can go... Okay, well, we'll look around here first. This is obviously Toriel's room. I, I feel so guilty if I'm going in there and I should be. That's not, that's not a nice thing to do. Okay, inside the drawer are flower seeds and some broken crayons. Room under renovations. Okay. Oh! Mirror! It's you! It is indeed. I like that carpet. Should we head over to where the toil is? Um, I went right. Let's go left. Let's first go up and have a look at these books. These books are worn. They must have been read many times. Let's have a look at this plant then. Inside is an old calendar from the beginning of... 21X. 20, sometime in the 2010s. This game came out in 2015. It's a history book. Here's a random page. Trapped behind the barrier, and fearful of further human attacks, we retreated. Far, far into the earth we walked, until we reached the cavern's end. This was our new home, which we named... Home. <laughs> How <laughs> daring today, aren't we? <laughs> as great as our king is, he is pretty lousy at names. Ah, <laughs> uh, when they <laughs> when they they've got really unoriginal unoriginal names for things, and then they make fun of it. That's really fun. It's a history book. Here's around the page. Oh, uh, it's the same stuff again. Da -da -da -da. I know how to skip dialogue. Fire equipment. Should we go look what's up here? Ooh, pie! The size of the pie intimidates you too much for you to eat it. <laughs> no, it fucking doesn't. <laughs> for some reason, there is a brand name chocolate bar in the fridge. Is it a Snickers? Let's, uh, let's talk to Toriel. Up already, I see. I haven't seen you in like three minutes. I haven't slept at all. Um... I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There are so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favourite bug hunting spot. I've also prepared a curriculum for your education. Oh, wow. This may come as a surprise to you, but I have always wanted to be a teacher. That does not surprise me in the slightest. Actually, perhaps that isn't very surprising. No, that's what I just said. It is not. It is not surprising at all. Not with those glasses. Still, I am glad to have you living here. Oh, did you want something? What is it? When can I go home? <laughs> oh no! This is this is the great. This is a lovely little home. <laughs> you want to leave? Oh. <laughs> what? This this is your home now. Um. Would you like to hear about this book I'm reading? It is called 72 Uses for Snails. Uh, if you got 52 things to do with zero gravity, that would be more interesting. How about it? No, I... Okay, sure, let's go. Here is an exciting snail fact. Did you know that snails make their terrible, make their terrible shoelaces? Interesting. <laughs> yeah, interesting. Well, bother me if you need anything else. I have looked at everything in this house already. I need... Okay, let's just do this. I have something. I have to do something. Stay here. Uh -huh. Come back! <laughs> Come back! Come back, I'm sorry! <laughs> I'm gonna go downstairs. Let me, let me down, let me down. Ooh. Ooh, it got very ominous all of a sudden. Let's... let's... Not do that. Happy? Ominous. Happy? Ominous. Alright. 
You wish to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. A one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I am going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. Uh, there's some red flags going up here. <laughs> now be a good child and go upstairs. No. I gotta go, go. Gotta go meet Sans. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I have seen it again and again. They come. They leave. They die. You naive child. If you leave the ruins, they, Asgore, will kill you. I am only protecting you. Do you understand? Go to your room. I've been sent to my room. No, I gotta meet Sans. Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. I gotta go and meet Sans. Gotta have a fun time. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> right. You want to leave so badly? Hmm. You are just like the others. There is only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me you are strong enough to survive. Oh no, I gotta fight Toriel now. Oh. The Toriel is the only final boss of an area that doesn't do something special in the battle. Um, I know how to do this, just spare Toriel over and over again. Well, oh, wow. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. How did I not get hit by any of that? Toriel prepares a magical attack. Uh, whoa, tornado! 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 Toriel looks through you. Whoa! Oh, I know this one. Ah, oh, no, nearly. Toriel is acting aloof. Uh -huh. There. Oh, I got hit. Toriel looks through you. What are you doing? Oh, what I'm doing is trying to not get murdered by Goldmar. I need to heal. That one did more. The HP was maxed out. Ow! Ow! Toriel! Stop! Please! Toriel looks through you. Spare. Attack or run away! Ah! Toriel is acting aloof. What are you proving this way? What I'm proving is that I'm bad at the game! Uh, Toriel takes a deep breath. Um, I need to heal again. the close one. Doyle takes a deep breath. Fair. Fight me or leave. No, Toyle, I won't fight you. They're getting faster. Toyle prepares magical attack. Stop it! Oh, wait, no, they're getting easier. Toyle looks through you. Fair. Stop looking at me that way. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Uh, I've got I've only got the butterscotch pie and I know you've gotta save that one for Asgore. Toy of first magical attack, okay. Go away! Ow! Okay, this is it. Last <laughs> please. Please. Cause I know she starts like deliberately missing. Toy of Pez Magical Attack. Yes! Here we go! She starts... missing you on purpose. Toya looks through you. I know you want to go home, but... Spare. But please, go upstairs now. I promise, I will take good care of you here. I know we do not have much, but... There. We can have a good life here. Why are you making this so difficult? Please, go upstairs. 
<laughs> Pathetic, is it not? I cannot save even a single child. No, I understand. You would just be unhappy trapped down here. The ruins are very small once you get used to them. It would not be right for you to grow up in a place like this. My expectations, my loneliness, my fear. For you, my child, I will put them aside. Aww. Sip of my coffee. If you truly wish to leave the ruins, I will not stop you. However, when you leave, please do not come back. I hope you understand. Oh, oh, that's so sweet. Goodbye, my child. Oh no, Toriel. I've got your phone. I have a phone. I can call you. Although I think that doesn't work once you leave the ruins, sadly. Oh god, we've got more flowery bullshit to go as well. <laughs> oh, fuck me. Here we go. Leather. Very. Clever. You think you're really smart, don't you? In this world, it's kill or be killed! So you were able to play by your own rules! You spared the life of a single person! <laughs> I bet you feel really great! You didn't kill anybody this time! But what will you do if you meet a relentless killer? You'll die, and you'll die, and you'll die, until you tire of trying. What will you do then? Will you kill out of frustration? Or will you give up entirely on this world? And let me inherit the power to control it? I am the prince of this world's future. Don't worry, my little monarch. My plan isn't ready. Why can't I say that? My plan isn't regicide. This is so much more interesting. <laughs> <laughs> fucking hell. I'm glad Flowey is only at the beginning and the end of this game because I fucking hate him to do the voice. It's really straining. <laughs> Here we go. Into Snowden, I think. Yes. Undertale. By Toby Fox, world's best game developer. I know there's something about the rock. Huh? It's a Metal Gear Solid exclamation sound effect. There's a camera hidden in the bushes. These trees look really weird! <laughs> Ooh. Perspective. <laughs> ah! Oh god! I forgot about that! The jump scare. Uh. Let's carry on. Stands! I know what you're doing! <laughs> We're getting close to the point in the game that I've not played past. Here we go. Sands. I want to get the voice right first time. Human. Don't you know how to greet a new pal? Turn around and shake my hand. <laughs> the old whoopee cushion and the hand trick. It's always funny. Anyways, you're a human, right? That's hilarious. I'm Sans. Sans the skeleton. I'm actually supposed to be on watch for humans right now. But, you know, I don't really care about capturing anybody. Now my brother, Papyrus. He's a human hunting fanatic. Hey, actually, I think that... 
that's him over there? I have an idea. Go through this gate thingy. Yeah, go right through. My bro made the bars too wide to stop anyone. <laughs> the lab! <laughs> the lab! <laughs> Quick! Behind that conveniently shaped lamp! Then again, it's a matter of perspective because the sands and papyrus, I'm just stood next to it. <laughs> Sup, bro? You know what's. Uh, no, that's not. It's Skeletor, isn't it? You know what's up, brother? It's been eight days that you still haven't recalibrated your puzzle. You just hang around outside your station! What are you even doing? Staring at this lamp, it's really cool. You wanna look? No! I don't have the time for that! What if the human comes through here? I want to be ready! I will be the one! I must be the one! I will capture a human! Then I, the great Papyrus, will get all the things I utterly deserve! Respect! Recognition! I will finally be able to join the Royal Guard! People will ask to be my friend? I will bathe in a shower of kisses every morning! Hmm... Maybe this lab will help you! <laughs> you are not helping, you lazy bone! All you do is sit and boon doodle! Boon doggle! I can't read! You get lazier and lazier every day! Hey, take it easy! I've gotten a ton of work done today! A skeleton? Hey! <laughs> Sands! Come on! You're smiling! I am and I hate it! Why does someone as great as me have to do so much just to get some recognition? Well, sounds like you're really working yourself down to the bone! Hey! <laughs> I will attend to my puzzles. As for your work, put a little more backbone into it. <laughs> okay, you can come out now. Hey, Sans. You ought to get going. He might come back. And if he does, you'll have to sit through more of my hilarious jokes. What's the holdup? Look, there's nothing to be afraid of. It's just a dark cavern filled with skeletons and horrible monsters. <laughs> yeah, alright, let's go. Actually, hey, hate to bother you, but can you do me a favor? I was thinking, my brother's been kinda down lately. He's never seen a human before, and seeing you might just make his day. And don't worry, he's not dangerous, even if he tries to be. Thanks a million. Up your head. You went backwards. Uh, wait, no, Sans is Sans. Sans can go through the, the multiverse. Right. This is it. This room here, this is the furthest I've ever gotten in the game actually playing it. I've never played the game past this point. So I think this is a good place to, to stop. And, uh... Yeah. Okay, well, after this, obviously, then. No, Drake, Flood is Force. Uh, what do I do for you? Uh, I have no idea. Let's check. Snow Drake, attack 7, defense, uh, attack 12, defense 7. This teen comedian fights to keep a captive audience. Maybe I should have laughed then. Better not snowflake out! That's a really bad joke. I think I'm... I should... Maybe I should... Joke... Me, maybe I should show you what a good joke is. Should talk to Sans, he's really good at it. You make a bad ice button. Ha <laughs> ha! Nice! Try! Nice! Try? Okay. No joke, it's just in the crowd. Okay, we'll laugh then. You laugh, it's no joke's pun. See? Laughs? Dad was wrong! Oh. <laughs> oh! I almost got hit there! No joke is pleased with its cool joke. Yes, fair. 12 gold, wow. Okay. 
as I was saying, I think this is a- Oh, tough glove, what is that? Let's, let me examine that. I keep getting it- I keep getting distracted. Uh, info. Tough glove, weapon attack, five. A worn pink leather glove for five-fingered folk. Uh, I'm not gonna use that. It's a weapon. There we go. As I was saying, I think this is a good place to end, as this is the furthest um, I've ever gotten when playing the game. I've never gone past this room here. Um, so, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed my voices for these characters, let me know in the comments down below, and I will see you in the next episode. I'm probably not going to be uploading anything else other than Undertale until I've finished the game, um, because otherwise, um, I'm just going to get caught up in a schedule issue again where like, I'm not sure what game I'm supposed to be uploading or playing. So I'm just going to do this all the way through and then we'll move on to something else. Um, so thank you for watching and I will see you next time. I still don't have a written outro. Peace out. Ah, for fuck's sake, Ice Cap. <laughs> in the middle of my outro. Ice Cap struts into view. Ice Cap. Um, uh, ignore. You managed to tear away uh, your eyes with Ice Cap's hat. It looks annoyed. Hello? My hat's up here! Okay, so I think we're supposed to actually look at the hat then. Oh! Woohoo! He almost got spiked! Ice Cap is secretly checking if you're looking at its hat. I will compliment your hat. You inform Ice Cap that it has a great hat, which it does. That is a cool hat. Envious? Too bad. Uh. Ooh. Ice Cap is secretly checking if you're looking at his hat. Ice Cap, I will try to steal your hat then, because complimenting it didn't work. You tried to steal Ice Cap's hat, but it's not weakened enough. I knew it! Thief! Okay, that didn't work either. What am I supposed to do with you? Ow! Ice Cap, do I compliment again? You inform Ice Cap that it has a great hat. Envious? Too bad! No, that doesn't work either. Maybe I ignore it. You can- Ah! Oh, ignoring is one's supposed to do. You continue not looking at Ice Cap's hat. It seems defeated. Okay, I'll ignore you too! Perfect. Well, you're not ignoring me, you're fighting me again! Ah! Can I sweat? Yes! Ah! In the middle of my outro, that's so rude! Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Um... Fills you with determination, la-di-la-di-da. Peace out!